sort de mari, plein de grâce, le Seigneur est avec vous, vous êtes bénie en toutes les femmes. Je vous salue Marie, plein de grâce, le Seigneur est avec vous, vous êtes bénie en toutes les femmes. Je vous salue Marie, plein de grâce, le Seigneur est avec vous, vous êtes bénie en toutes les femmes. Je vous salue Marie, plein de grâce. Where is everybody? The lockers. The lockers. They are everywhere. doing tonight? I've got plans with my sister. Oh, sounds kinky. Can I watch? All right, look, I was just thinking that maybe you, that we could go out and grab a bite, you know? Maybe catch a flip down at the Coleman. Mm -hmm. Nothing big. All right, how about tomorrow night? You busy? Even busier. All right, how about a week from next Saturday? Is that good, or? You want to borrow my pepper spray? Yeah, is that handy? Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Bar. <laughs> hey, you gonna come out with me and Gavin tonight? Dollar Bears at Finnegan's until 7.30. Uh, Nikki and I have our thing tonight. It's the 15th, so we're gonna go visit my parents. Yeah, I forgot. I'm sorry. I thought you were just trying to get rid of the office stalker. <sighs> no. 
Besides, he's been the extent of my social life lately. <laughs> God, you need to get out. Yeah, tell me about it. Well, I'll see you back at the place a little later, okay? All right. Tell me, can I said hi? Yeah. If she ever gets back from a little camping trip. See ya. Nikki, I'm not here to my phone. Give me a message at your own risk. Nikki, it's Lana. You know it's the 15th, so wherever you are, don't be late. Is that you? Office stalker. Anyone? Jesus, Nick, you scared me. Sorry. I thought you were someone else. Who are you remembering? The parents. How about you? My sister. I think it's a good idea for you to be driving two hours into the mountains and nodding off at the wheel. 
Look, as soon as the sun comes up, we'll all head out, okay? You mean Gavin will all go if he just gets some rest and calm down and think about it. What do you mean, we? I can't go into high altitudes. I get nosebleeds. Shut up, Gavin. You don't get nosebleeds. Come on. I'll make it worth your while, I promise. <laughs> Whatever. What? Poetry, so. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank Good. you. This is
We should probably go to the sheriff's office. Just a sec. Now, what seems to be the problem? Are you the sheriff? Sheriff Jack Stiver at your service. What can we do for you? Well, I need to file a missing persons report. Well, you've come to the right place. Who's missing? My sister. Well, let's see. And what's your sister's name? Nikki Romero. Nikki. Nikki, that doesn't ring any bells. Does she live in this town? No, she goes to the university right now. How long she been missing? About three days. <laughs> In that case, we can't help you for another two days. What are you talking about? A person's got to be gone at least five days before they're considered missing. That's bullshit. Now listen here, boy. I ain't got time to go chasing around after a bunch of drunk college students. So what are we supposed to do? I'll give her some time. She's probably just out necking with some frat boy. <laughs> The last time I spoke with my sister, she mentioned something about an abandoned prison. Okay, do, do you two know anything about a prison? Tell you what, since you nice folks have so much time to waste, Buck here will take you up to that old prison. Pick up that Mason fellow while you're at it. He'll be able to give you some help. Come on, let's go. Thanks a lot. See, I go to the range about two or three times a week. I figure that next year when I try again to become a state trooper and go to the academy, Make me a lean, mean, crime fighting machine. So, who's this Mason guy? What? This guy with the hair. Mason. He was a prison guard. He worked in the prison. If anybody knows a way around there, it's him. How's it going, Mason? Can't complain. What's all this about? We're going up to Halcyon Ridge. We could use your help. Not a chance. I told myself I was never going back there again. What's the matter? Too many bad memories? Listen, man. 
I sympathize with you. Most people generally try and stay out of jail, but we'd really... Why would anybody want to go to Halcyon Ridge? Because my sister's missing, and I'm hoping we can find her there. Look. Ever since her parents died, my sister's been my entire family. Okay, imagine losing your whole family like that. If you think you can help us, then please come with us. But I need to find my sister, so I'm not going to waste my time begging you. God, Curtis. How many times we got to go through this? Come on, get out of there. Oh, it's in the trees, Deputy Buck. Look, oh, look at him dance. Lord, yes, there's something dark on the horizon. Come on, you're gonna have to dry out at the station. Up you go. Oh, it's. Of course, you may have to drive.
asbestos, right? All right, guys, that's enough. Ma'am, I'm sorry if I've done anything to upset you, but it's my Christian duty to warn you of what I've seen. I that's enough. Sister's car? No. Friend's car, maybe? I've never seen it before. Did your sister say how they were going to get here? Let's just assume that this car has nothing to do with your sister. Dude, wait. Are we leaving the truck? People! I don't want to sound lazy or anything, but doesn't it make sense to keep the truck with us in case something happens? Mark's not going to be able to get the truck any closer. We're going to have to walk from here. How far are we talking? About a mile. All right, let's get going. Couldn't drag me there with God's goat. Turn it up then there, Curtis. You can wait in the truck till we get but back. I don't think that's such a good idea. Oh, it'll be okay. You can read my issues while you wait. That'll be fun, right? <laughs> I want you to put your hand on that steering wheel for me. Well, that's not real Christian like of you, Deputy Buck. Yeah. Maybe this will make up for it. Remember, don't read the walls! Remember, the devil can't get your soul if you ain't got any eyes! You know about that? Every old abandoned building has some sort of folklore attached to it. You don't even know the half of it. What are you talking about? Go ahead, Mason. Tell him. Tell him about the riot. I wasn't even there, Buck. <laughs> what is this guy talking about? Listen, there was a prisoner. Got some sort of book from the outside. What kind of book? I don't know. Some sort of ancient book of death. So anyways, this guy, he just starts chanting, won't stop. By the end of the day, the whole prison's in a riot. By the end of the week, they shut the whole place down. What are we waiting for?
So what should we do? Um, let's split up in the groups. I'm gonna head off down this tower down here. By myself. I don't need that stinking group. Gavin and I'll go together. We'll take that building over there. The administration building's down that way. There's also a couple cell blocks. Remember, they don't have any power. I assume all the buildings with asbestos are clearly marked. Come on, let's go check out the kitchen, these two buildings over here. Looks like we're all alone in here. It certainly does, doesn't it? Remember how I told you I was going to make this worth your while? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Don't go anywhere till I get back. What? 
Just stay here. I'll be right back. I think this is the last room to check out down here. Take a look over there. Check inside here. Oh my god, is this blood? Mason, what the fuck is this? Hey, hey, hey. Look at its dry blood. It's, oh, it's probably left over from the riots. Fine. Last time I spoke with my sister, we got in this argument, and uh, I said a lot of things that I shouldn't have said. And she went off angry, and now I'm starting to feel like I may never see her again. Listen, don't say that. That's not true. If she's here, we're going to find her. Come on, let's keep looking.
Stiver, you better get over here. Something strange is going on. Stiver? Stiver!
happen? The stories. The stories are all true. What stories? What are you talking about? The prisoners, they worship some sort of ancient locust god of darkness. Supposedly, he ruled the earth up until he was banished by the light. Remember that prisoner I told you about? He was part of the group. They believed that the darkness would return and, and spread to reclaim humanity. They called it the Eighth Plague. Most people think of the Bible when they think of that, but I'm telling you, this ain't none of that King James shit. I just thought that it was something that the inmates did to help pass the time, but, but no. Mason, what the hell are you talking about? I was attacked by a girl. My sister? I don't know. Where is she? Follow me.
Lana? Oh, 
Buck, are you in here? 